Now, labeled one of New York City's weirdest and most iconic skyscrapers, 33 Thomas Street has been a source of mystery for many years. Constructed and owned by AT&T, this faceless concrete tower has been linked to the NSA. RT's Trinity Chavez has the story. Built to withstand a nuclear bomb, this New York City skyscraper is one of the most important assets to the NSA. Known as the AT&T Long Lines Building, the 550-foot tall tower has 29 floors with three levels and has not one single window in its walls. But for many years, the New York skyscraper, located at 33 Thomas Street, has been a source of mystery. Photographer Stanley Greenberg is one of the few people who were able to gain access to the building. I knew the AT&T building because I had worked nearby there for a while. And it always seemed kind of mysterious because there's no windows, and I knew it was all, all uh, electronics inside. So I got in touch with the AT&T press office, and they they didn't have any trouble with my going in. Of course, it was 1992, so it was a long time ago. Formerly known as Project X, an AT&T subsidiary commissioned the tower to house long-distance phone lines. Completed in 1974, it was built to withstand an atomic blast. The architect even made plans to include enough food, water, and generate fuel to sustain 1,500 people for two weeks during a catastrophic loss of power. Well, I guess it was the batteries, um, which you've seen a picture of. Um, you know, we see we had seen a couple floors of, of racks of electronics. Um, and then all of a sudden we walk by and there's this this big space with, with big, I said, are those battery jars? And he said, yeah, that's our backup power. So, um, and I didn't know how long they were supposed to last, but I think the, the guys who did the intercept story um, said that it was supposed to last for a couple weeks. So they could survive if there was no power. But now it appears the building served another purpose. Aside from housing landlines, powerful computers, and switchboards, the mysterious building also doubles as a wiretapping facility that targets calls, faxes, and internet traffic, according to an article in The Intercept. The National Security Agency refers to the tower as Titan Point, which is one of the most used facilities used to collect communications, according to the article and documents leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden. The article details secret NSA travel guides dated from April 2011 to February 2013 that was written to assist NSA employees visiting various facilities and discloses that Titan Point is in New York City. The 2013 guide states that a partner called Lithium, which is the NSA's co-name for AT&T, supervises visits to the site, which is conveniently located only a block away from the FBI's New York field office, further establishing the connection to 33 Thomas Street. In a world where every aspect of our daily lives is either monitored through social media, smartphone applications, or websites, whatever spying may be going on here at 33 Thomas Street would at least be subjected to legal oversight. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT.